get your hands. What? In the cake. We get to decide. Hello, boys, girls, and everything in between. I am Gullible, uh, and welcome to Flash Game Friday. Uh, yes, I'm starting up new series. You may have noticed the new logo. I know I said in my see in a secret part of the description of the last video. I know I said next time was going to be Robot Arena 2, uh, but I have to record that with uh, Bandicam, and Bandicam just isn't working. Uh, the few days of inactivity were just me sorting out, uh, making a new logo, finding a new theme, doing all these new things. New, 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 new. Who knew about that? I'll tell you what I didn't know. I didn't know that I didn't start my timer. That would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? Alright. So the timer is officially started. This is Escaping the Prison. Uh, I should explain the series first. This series, uh, Flash Game Friday. I'm going to show off three Flash games every second or third Friday. Uh, because this is going to be interchanged uh, every Friday with a different series. And this might go up on Saturday. <laughs> This might be, uh, Flash Game Friday, Saturday edition, because, um, well, it's currently about 5.30 on a Friday, and I'm just now recording this, right? Uh, let's get to this. This is Escaping the Prison. It's a nice little interactive animation thing. It's a sequel to Breaking the Bank, which is made by the same people, obviously, because it's a sequel. Uh, what happens if you is you click things like file and then funny things happen? You can choose to file the cell door or the window. I'm gonna go for the window. It's basically just an interactive adventure, uh, and it's very <laughs> it's very silly, and you tend to fail a lot. Which is what I like about this game is you fail hilariously in a lot of funny ways. And now we chose an energy drink. Okay, time is frozen. Uh, we can just push our way out, and time is just frozen. <laughs> so we can just pick this guy up and put him in the trash. <laughs> Take that guy's tongue or whatever that is. Yeah, just walk out. Walk out here, we're in the middle of the Arizona desert for some reason. Breathe in, oh, there goes my heart. Okay, now I'm dead. Uh, side effects include nausea, headache, rapid heart beats, and possibilities of stroke and or heart attack. Hmm, well, that's good to know. Uh, let's go for a rocket launcher. <laughs> that's a frying pan, there we go, that's a rocket launcher. Fire! It went through the bars. What? What? How likely is that to happen? <laughs> uh, way to aim, buddy. <laughs> Let's go for a teleporter. Beep. Oh hey. Hey, we teleported into a firing range. Ooh. You just can't seem to get the hang of that thing, can you? Uh, that's a callback to the original. Uh, let's go for the cell phone. That person's background was Mars. Now we're calling some attorneys. September 9th, 12.53 p.m. District Court, courtroom number four. <laughs> it's Phoenix, right? See, Phoenix, right? <laughs> uh, 
Um, uh, a disguising bag. Yeah, present. I want a present. Oh, it needs to present it. Ooh. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. What? Dun 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 So was your accent. Ooh. Funky music. Funky music. Funky music. Funky music. Funky music. Mm, 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 mm. Funky music. Mm, mm. Oh. I didn't expect this to work. I didn't expect this to work at all. This worked what? Stickman is this guy. What is that? <laughs> I didn't expect that to work at all. And now I'm chasing the Oh god, now I'm chasing the bank. Alright, that was escaping the prison. Sorry for not talking about this dude, but I've actually never played this before. <laughs> On to the next game. Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome to Swords and Sandals Gladiators. Uh, this is a, a game. You can pay for this, but there's actually a full sort of version. And it's a, a Flash game. And that's what I'm going to be playing today. Uh, you can choose your skin color. You can go to stupid things like Frost Blue. You can choose your hairstyle. Let's go for something like that. And then you can choose the color. Let's go for something just a, a bright blonde. You can choose your beard. Yeah, let's go for the, that. And uh, you can just do your things with your character. I recommend getting up charisma, uh, attack, defense, vitality, and just pump everything into charisma. Because the reason you want to do that is because when you go to the weaponsmith, uh, Oh, and buy a sword, because that's what I've always done. Uh, because when you do this, you get discounts in shops. Here, I'll show you it in a second. I'm sorry, I'm just freezing through this. Let's buy some gauntlets. See, look, where is it? Uh, there's a charisma discount somewhere. Unless that's only in the second game, I don't know. But yeah, you can purchase armor and make your character all properly decked out. And stuff like that. Oh, that costs way too much money. Uh, can we get greaves? Actually, I'd rather get boots. Boots on the cats, and there's boots. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. You can trick your character out and make him all fantastical. I'm not gonna add a, a helmet, and I can't afford a breastplate. Uh, yeah. So once you've tricked them out, you get to enter battles. Um, this is the tail of the tape, as it was. And you get to look at all your stats and stuff. And green means you win, and yellow means you're the same. He's currently beating me in no stats, except for epicness of mustache. Uh, if you don't want to do the battle, we can just go back and enter it again. And then once you press that, you can go. Right, so you can jump... Backward, walk for, walk backward, walk forward, jump forward. You can taunt and you can charge. 
that percentage there is uh, how likely it is to... Oh, get out of the way, stupid tutorials. Is how likely it is to hurt your opponent. So if I taunt him, he'll charge at me. So we can walk forward a bit, just so we can hit an attack. And we can charge him! Oh, and he blocked. So if you go for quick, it'll probably hit. Power won't hit, but normal might hit. Yeah, there we go. And then we can charge at him! And he'll block, and I'll block, and I'll hit that. <laughs> Yay, I win! Uh, congratulations, you have won your first combat. And we leveled up! Okay, so we have three more skill points. Let's go that, that, and vitality. Continue. So, uh, uh, so you survived your first fight? Well done, blah, 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 blah. You can get, uh, better weapons. Uh. Oh, oh, cool. I can actually afford the next sword. You can get better weapons, get better armor. I don't think we unlocked any better armor. We didn't. And I don't have nearly enough money. If you leave without buying anything, the characters get, like, an angry animation. If you go and you go, oh, no, sorry. So he gets all angry. Generally go around, you can find people called Rinaldo the Wanderer. I'm wondering what's wrong with your skin, Mr. Seamus in disguise. And you can just jump towards him. This isn't an advanced game, it's just kind of fun. Uh, so you just generally go and have gladiator battles. Uh, and do whatever you'd like. There are, like, five sequels to this game. And the version I'm going to show you guys is just a quick demo of the first game. Oh, come on, die. There we go. Uh, this is just a demo of the first game, Flash demo. And we leveled up again. Stamina, attack, and defense. Right, so, I'm gonna link you guys to that. You can go and gladiator your way to glory. Or something like that. And finally, welcome to Weapon! Uh, this is a game... Uh, Calisine Roger. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna be called Roger, and you get to pick your, uh, weapon. It's basically Black Hawk Down, the Flash game. Uh, you can buy modifications for your weapon, which I'm going to buy, it's just that one. Uh, something you need to learn early on is that you need to click to attach them. Uh, is a, a professional tip from us long-time players. Uh, so execute just means get the mission. Um, so what you've got to do is you've got to defend that Black Hawk there. From, you see four infantry people. Ooh, look at my hands. From four infantry people, uh, the Black Hawk has an amount of health, and you just use your mouse and just shoot at these people. There we go, we got him. I'm really inaccurate right now. Oh yeah, you can run out of, uh, ammo. And you can unlock loads and loads and loads of things. There we go. You earn 600 money for some reason. Uh, let's go into modifications. We can add a suppressor. I'm pretty sure that just does... I don't think that does anything. Uh, and we can also buy grenades. We can buy repairs, but it's only the first day. We can buy a Delta Sniper, who's really, really useful as that Delta Sniper. Can I afford that now? Uh, also, there's a shooting range. We can go to the shooting range. We can just take some pot shots at these people. Not people, they're just sort of... things, I suppose. You can just take some pot shots, test your weapon out. That's your weapon out, there we go. Uh, you press spacebar to exit. Uh, you can train yourself up for the mission. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, neither does the store, but this isn't much of a game that has a quality for sense, because why are you standing to the side of the Black Hawk? And also, why do they never attack you? It's a Flash game, just don't question it. Just enjoy the fun of this game. This game is really fun, and it's really good to defend this Black Hawk. It actually is genuinely entertaining for, well, possibly hours on end. Uh, so you can go and have a go at this yourself once you've finished watching my idiocy. Uh, there we go. 
Uh, you can buy more guns, like you can buy these guns, of which I can afford none. Uh, which is sad. And you can buy more pistols, and I really want to get that Mac 11. So let's just go into a new round. You do get different types. You get Rocketeers, which are people who shoot rockets. Uh, EOD suits, which is basically Master Chief from Halo, starts hassling you. Uh, so it's not just pot shots all the time. You've got to actually get some accuracy. And you do get machine guns, and you get like Delta snipers and airstrikes. This game gets pretty advanced later on. Oh my god, they're shooting! Oh crap! No, I took some damage! Uh, and technicals are cars. I don't know why technicals are called cars. Oh, I can afford that sniper dude. Okay, I'm not gonna repair it, I'm just gonna get the sniper dude. So you can hire a Delta sniper. And what he does is he just he makes this release. You see there's a Rocketeer in the, the incoming... That was the Rocketeer, you just got shot in the face. Uh, this is a Delta Sniper. They're really loud, yet really abusable. The thing about Delta Snipers is that uh, they can shoot past the edge of the screen here. So they can just eliminate everyone before they even get on the screen. See how easy that was? They are so abusable. But this is a really old game. I've been playing this for quite a few years now. I can't afford any guns. Alright. Execute. So you can just, for a few rounds, you can just relax, let this guy handle everything. When the EOD suits start coming, he gets a, a bit useless. Uh, when I say the EOD suits are just uh, Master Chief from Halo, I mean that. Like, proper green armored suit and everything. See? He handled that quite easily. 2400 credits. Edits, edits, edits. I'm so stupid. Uh, you can buy uh, vests and belts and things because they let you take more. You see how it lets you take more magazines? You're gonna need those because you need a lot more ammo than you can take out. Let's just execute. Uh, I don't think I don't know if this camp has shotguns. Which is kind of disappointing. I don't think it does. Oh yeah, oh, by the way, he has a health bar, so he can be damaged, but it's really hard to get him. Because he can just shoot the AI from 50 miles away. And he doesn't have a cooldown time, he's not only for one round. He's just the most abusable system in the world. Thank you, Mr. Abusable Guys. Even if they get on there, boop, and they're gone. Uh, we can't afford that Mac 11. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it to show you what machine guns are like. Are there any better machine guns we can afford? I could get the TMP. There are, like, sniper rifles and stuff, like the M14 is debatably a sniper rifle, but most of them are, uh, just shooty, fast machine guns. That's not <laughs> shooty, fast guns. They're machine guns, yeah. I'm just gonna let this guy handle another round. Oh crap, EOD suit. Not that. Pew pew! Pew pew pew! Die, Master Chief, die! Yeah, every enemy in this game has a weak spot. Um, that's something I'll show you after this round is over. Round, wave, whatever. After this is over, every enemy in this game has a weak spot, and I can show that to you. If you go into briefing, you can see the enemy types. See, look, they all have a weak spot, and they have health, and they do a certain amount of damage. It's really interesting. Weak spot, weak spot. Most of them are head. But that one, the weak spot's the gas tank, which makes sense. Uh, and you can get tips. Uh, yeah. Which isn't like you get money for working at a restaurant. You get just help with the game. I can almost afford that. Alright, I'm gonna go another round. I know this is annoying some of you, but I'm gonna go another round. I'm gonna go about another two minutes, because... Oh crap, on a hat! They killed- they're almost killing my Delta man, because I was looking away to set the timer. And he yelled out medic like he was in TF2. Crap! I knew I should have bought the machine gun. Why didn't you guys tell me to buy the machine gun? Uh... Yeah.
Um, this game gets really panicky at times. <sighs> okay, there we go. Right, so I'm gonna buy an AK-47. Now I can afford something better. I can... Ooh, I'm like... Mm, just a little bit off buying the best weapon in the game. No, I'll buy, I'll buy a few grades below. Just so I can show you some of the upgrades for these. Yeah, M4A1, why not? So you get loads of upgrades for these. Like, oh, we can buy the sling and the crane stock. No, we can't. We can't buy that. Uh, we can buy the vertical foregrip. We can buy that. You can attach the vertical foregrip and the sling. And you can buy all these different sites, which it's just whichever one you prefer. You can buy commando mods, and you can buy suppressors, and oh my god. So basically, this is a really detailed game about defending Black Ops. Uh, so you can go and have fun with it. Uh, I have been gullible. The links to all of these games are in the description box below hands. Uh, this has been Flash Games Friday, possibly Saturday edition, uh, episode one of the series. Expect the next one uh, probably about two Fridays away. I have been gullible. I already said that. It's all going wrong in the last few seconds. Have a nice day.